you YouTube my name is bear witness hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I have a treat for you guys today now before we start the video I want to go in and I want to tell you guys that if you guys stay to the end of the video and you enjoy the video make sure you guys leave a like make sure you guys uh, you know if you like I said if you enjoyed it make sure you guys click that sub button if you're not already a part of the bear squad and push the bell for notifications now we're hopping right into it the first thing I want to say guys is that season 6 of Fortnite has been very fun to play I don't know if I needed to take a break from it or what but I've had an amazing time playing this game over the last couple of days with my friends with randoms just making new connections with people but on making new connections with people or speaking of I want to talk to you guys today about social interactions now I am a huge fan of social interactions like it is probably my favorite thing is to hear the way people react to certain situations in their daily lives or you know things that alter the way we as a people look at certain things now Fortnite has the absolute uncanny ability to actually do that so there's three topics that I want to talk about today guys and I want to share with you guys my views on them as well so I, like I said I hope you guys enjoy the video but right with that being said let's get right into it first things first guys we're going to talk about the new character inside of Fortnite her name is Calamity now a lot of people have been saying her default and her secondary skin are a little bit too revealing uh, showing too much cleavage in certain areas and also that there is a new jiggle feature that has only been presented on her now this being said we're not talking about girls that look like this or this or even this but we're talking about a simple character easy does it southern look now maybe it's because I'm from the south this doesn't seem any different to me I personally don't see anything wrong with it and I bet you that a lot it is appreciated by a lot of feminine Fortnite players the fact that they are you know more out there and they don't seem so you know serious all the time we have a lot of skins that uh, get represented like that for males and I feel like that they're kind of just trying to speak to a lot uh, a, a more feminine player base this year because we've seen we have seen a lot of female skins in this and I'm really glad that they had one that actually levels up throughout the season I'm also a big fan of Cowboys and Westerns anyway so that's really awesome to me secondarily I think that it's not as big of a deal as people think it is. There's a wide range of people that have, are playing Fortnite. So just to assume that it's a children's game, uh, like um, Tim the Tatman had said, you know, it's a children's game. Like, you know what I mean? It is It is very much appealing to children, but I do not They feel like it should be represented as a children's game. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, guys, is the fact that I've heard, and I, I, I read an article. I read an article, I didn't hear about it. I read an article that was saying that Fortnite was leading to a lot of divorces, like an actual uh, a large amount of divorces. I think it said anything uh, around 10%. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but you have to think about how many people get married or how many people are married you know, in, on, on, in a regular basis. Now, it didn't pinpoint where. I think it was a global article it was like, in general. Um, they later on went to say that it was mostly video games, but it would be safe to assume that Fortnite being one of the biggest games to ever hit the internet and or consoles, PCs, whatever you want to talk about, gaming devices is what we'll generalize it as. It, it You can safely assume that this is the game that they're talking about most. And it kind of is, it's crazy the fact that a game can pull some pe some people to the point of not wanting to do anything. Now I'm not subject to uh, any type of like difference. I definitely enjoy playing my video games. I enjoy playing video games a lot more than I enjoy doing a lot of other things. But when it's important and stuff like that, I definitely realize that there is a time and place to do that, especially when it comes to my significant other. So that being said, um, I really feel like I I, I uh, that's uh, like I said. It's absolutely crazy. I don't really have much to say about it. Like I, I, it just baffles me how that could actually be something that people are actually doing. That is ten percent, guys. Think of it. Think about it as if like, think about it if like two thousand people got married. That's like two hundred couples. That would be, you know, like I think I think that math is right. I'm, I'm not really positive, but that's a lot of couples, guys. That's what's crazy about that. And also, I want to talk about the last thing, which is a uh, creative rights. You know, and, and this comes from the Fortnite dance. Like we've all used the uh, the swipe it. We've all used, you know, now they have the Running Man. We've all used uh, the uh, ah, I forgot what the other one. The the floss is another one, and we've all used the um ah, I can't remember the hype. 
type. Now these are all famous dance moves created by individuals. Now I'm not going to generalize it as African American artist as Mr. Chance the Rapper had done on Twitter the other day when he took to Twitter to talk to people about how they are not getting their due di their dues because you know Fortnite decided to use these and because they didn't put in their music they did not you know have to do that and how they didn't have their stuff monetized so no it wasn't fair for Fortnite to take up these dances and use them um but like i said he generalized that to african americans and for me i feel like that's not only uh, uh dances do done by you know african americans but in general like i said i represent like or not i represent but i maintain my argument with floss uh that was created by a young dude i'm not really sure what his name is but you know everybody knows him as backpack kid so that being said I don't think that Fortnite should have the uh, the 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 opportunity or the right to take up these dances without giving them their dues. Whether it be you know uh, the artists that have music with their songs, whether it might be giving them their music in the game or things like that. But I definitely feel like Fortnite could be in some new legal trouble, especially since one of the rappers, um, I think his name is Two Millie, I think, I'm pretty sure that's his name, I might, I might be missing something, but, uh, he was the original creator of the Millie Rock, which was actually the Swipe It, and they, um, a lot, he's went on record to say that a lot of people have been telling him to sue, and he's actually contemplating it, so, can he win it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fortnite's a big company with a lot of money to blow, and when you got a lot of money to blow, it's not hard to get really, really good lawyers that can, you know, twist and turn the tables, you know. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But what I will say is, when it comes to my personal opinion on the situation, I do not and will never think that a, uh, you know, a dance move should be copyrighted. But when it comes to something that you yourself created. Um, they, they, you know they created, they, it's obvious to see that they created, and it's not just the, the robot. Nobody's going to be able to pinpoint who created the robot, you know, that wasn't a bad one. You know, the Turk dance that came off of Scrub, or the default dance as we know it. All of these are not, you know, these are not dances that, you know, that we know they made. Although the Turk dance might be one, but it, you know, I, I don't really see it like that. Anyways, all I'm saying, guys, is that if it was any other dance, yes, but these blatant dance moves that these people took their time to create, took their time to build up and make famous for them to be presented uh, in a video game without even permission is the biggest problem. I think, I think nobody would be sweating it if they had asked or if they said, hey, you know, we'd like to feature your dance in a game and they brought it to the light and they asked them about it but when they didn't ask it created a very very big situation a very big problem that they could see legal trouble for uh but I, what i want to know guys is your thoughts on everything you know the the increase in divorces from video games um i want to know about what you guys think about the you know the copyright on the dance moves i want to know what you guys want or think are thinking about when it comes to this stuff so if you guys would do me a favor and hit me up on in the comment section that would be awesome absolutely amazing i hope you guys are having a wonderful day like i said or have a wonderful night and that's out that's it i'll be i'm out of here peace